Ben Goldman, 23. News anchor slash reporter for Fox 61 News. I had a, a, a brain tumor, a cancerous brain tumor. When I was 10 or 11, I was rushing to grow up, right? I was rushing to be older and work and have a job and, and you know, be a, be a news reporter and doing exactly what I'm doing right now. I remember we were sitting in the waiting room on the second floor of Connecticut Children's when the hematology oncology unit was on the second floor. And someone, maybe a fellow parent of, of one of the patients came up and said, hey, you know, you guys should look into Make-A-Wish. And for some reason it didn't register that I would have been eligible for Make-A-Wish because I think I was like, I don't know, maybe eight or nine years old, and we always see these Make-A-Wish stories with such little kids, you know? Um, and for some reason, we just thought maybe I was too old for it, or we didn't really know what it was. And so we got in touch with, um, we got set up with a wish grant. And, you know, I remember them coming over the house, and we made this list of all the possible different wishes that I'd want to do. And, uh, and, and, you know, we went on the wish in 2008. They did a great job, you know, picking us up in a limo, taking us to the airport, flying into San Francisco, setting up my mom and my brother when my dad and I played golf. Um, you know, it was a trip that, that we'll never forget. I remember standing on the seventh tee box at Pebble Beach and, and tearing up because it's, I felt so lucky to survive what I had gone through and to be lucky enough to be standing on the seventh hole at Pebble Beach, cancer-free with my dad. Like, it, it was euphoric. And uh, if, if more kids can feel that feeling, I'm all for it. There's no downside to that. If a family or a child is in the middle of treatment like that, to be able to have an experience like we had during that hard time, I mean, it changes everything because it takes you out of that day-to-day -day doctors and hospitals and treatment and medication and gives you something to be excited about when in the middle of those times, it's, it's dark, you know? I'm the luckiest guy in the world to be doing what I'm doing. This is something I've wanted to do since I was three years old. And the fact that I get to do it in my home, you know, in Hartford, at this age now is, it's like, a, it is a wish. This is the real wish. Look at me now, I went on that wish in 11 years ago. And there's a whole nother chapter. Um, these kids are going through really, really hard times. And that wish is something that they're gonna carry with them forever, it's such a long time. Um, so, no, this is not a last wish. This is a, a wish to celebrate survivalship and then start the rest of your life, start the chapter, the really good chapter. A lot of charities do similar things. Nobody does what the Make-A-Wish Foundation does. They're really investing in these families, in these communities, and touching people's lives on a local level that very few charities do.